Hey guys, I'm Billy Talley with Talley's Pier 77 Marine out of beautiful Lake Norman, North Carolina. It's a gorgeous day, about 70 degrees, so we're going to walk you through a brand new Regal 42 fly. So right off the back of the boat, we've got our power platform. This is a retractable underwater swim step that we can retract with the push of a button. It's very easy to bring the platform in and out. You don't have to get down on your knees to deploy it and it doesn't take away from the platform when it's in use. So let's step into the back cockpit. In the lower cockpit area, we've got a beautiful stainless steel antique staircase leading up to the flybridge. We've also got a nice L-shaped seating area with fold-out solid teak wood table. This teak table can also be relocated to the flybridge or we can have a second one installed. Under your seating you've got easy access to your storage in the aft cockpit. So in the back cockpit area here we've also got a really nice electric grill. This is a Kenyan smokeless electric grill. This is a fantastic option to have just outside here in the cockpit for grilling. It's out, it stores out of the way, so if you needed another solid surface for a table for entertaining, you've got that. You've also got a really convenient refrigerator right off the back of the boat. So that's a fantastic place for a refrigerator when you're out enjoying the day. So let's head up to the flybridge. So we're on the fly. We've got our upper helm station with a single 16-inch Volvo glass cockpit. You're control your engine controls and your joystick for docking. You've got all the same controls that you have downstairs at the lower helm station up here from the auto trim tabs, your VHF control, all your navigation and radar. As we look around we've got a little sun pad over here in front of the helm station. This companion seat will slide forward, reclines into a backrest and reclines all the way flat giving us a nice sun pad up front here. So we'll go ahead and set this back. Your helm seat will also slide fore and aft and has a flip up bolster to give you a more comfortable helm seat. In the back part of the flybridge, you've got a little refrigerator, a nice L-shaped seating area with storage beneath, and we've got our seagrass decking down. As you can see, we've got another table mount here as well. There's a large bimini top that we've taken off for the video today, and that bimini top's got overhead lighting in it. Let's go down below. So one of my favorite features of the 42 Fly is the glass enclosure. This is a full glass sliding door, which will open up. These two panes will slide all the way over to port, and this pane will also slide over, giving us a really wide open air filling. This is also allowing us to air condition this portion of the cockpit, or we can heat it depending on what type of weather you're boating in. So let's come on inside. This is a galley up design boat. So our galley, instead of being downstairs, it's up here in the salon area. We've got a two burner glass top range, a nice deep stainless steel sink. These panels store nicely away so they're not rattling around. You get a side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer a convection microwave, and tons of storage. So we've got several storage lockers here, and one more underneath the helm seat. This one's kind of neat. Regal does a really good job with these little details, giving us a place for um, small objects like your silverware. On the port side of the boat, you have your salon sofa with salon table. Your salon table will lower down to a lower position and will fill in as a big lounge area or an additional bed. There's storage beneath most of the cushions, but this one's really nice the way it pulls out, so you don't have to ask your guests to move in order to access that locker. We've got a 42-inch Samsung Smart TV that elevates out of the countertop. This is a pretty slick design. So one really neat feature on this particular boat is all the storage, but Regal is really good about giving us a lot of nice features. This little piece is designed to fit right here between the cockpit grill and the galley. 
So it, it kind of fills in this void here where the window would be to give you a little bit more space and to complete this all the way across. So the salon area, the 42 Fly, is a fully enclosed cockpit. Uh, we've got the glass sliding doors we showed you across the back, but look at the full panoramic view you get with a, an unobstructed single pane windshield. It's a beautiful view no matter where you're using the boat. It also opens into the lower salon or to the stateroom. This is an atrium layout boat, so you get all that natural light from that beautiful windshield down below, and it really illuminates the whole boat. Also, part of this glass enclosure, you've got two windows here that'll open at the helm station or on the other side of the boat. So what's really awesome about this, it gives you a way to communicate with people at the dock, or it gives you a way when you're docking the boat, if you want to poke your head out the side to see where you're at real close, getting when you're getting close to the dock or close to other obstacles. Just like the upper helm station, we've got a Garmin, a 16-inch display. This is running the Volvo Penta glass cockpit software. We got a pair of digital Volvo Penta controls and a Volvo Penta joystick. This particular boat comes with autopilot, cruise control, as well as joystick driving. With the glass cockpit, we're able to see any, all of the engine data. On this particular chart, we've got our fishing chart pulled up, which is just a more detailed navigation chart. Um, you've also got your autopilot bar here at the bottom. You could pinch to zoom just like it's your iPhone. So it's very user friendly, very intuitive to use. Um, it's a really neat feature if you're planning a route for the day. You can actually engage autopilot off of that route so it follows your course and stays, it keeps you directly on course and keeps you out of the shallow water hazards. So if we go home, you've also got a set of gauges here if you really wanted more analog gauges and you like to see that. We've got a full autopilot screen. This is gonna allow us to follow course. I do a heading hold, which is gonna hold us onto a particular compass heading. We actually have a fish finder on this boat as well, so we can, act, we can see the sonar readout, the current depth and water temperature. And this will communicate directly with our fusion stereo, which happens to be turned off at the moment. Here at the helm, we've got our switch panels for operating both of our wipers and all the other electronics on the boat. This is your wireless windlass controller. So you can control the windlass from hit the helm, uh, the upper helm station, or anywhere on the boat, which is very handy. We've also got automatic trim tabs on this particular boat. So as you plane the boat off, they're programmed to naturally deploy the tabs. And as the boat gets on plane, it'll, re it'll retract the tabs to its program setting. Now, if you have an uneven load or a lot of wind, it'll level the boat out for you so you don't have to play with the tabs as you use the boat. It's a really neat feature. It's something that you don't see very often on many boats. As we come down below, we've got three large steps that are lit. You've got blue LED lighting underneath the stairs so you can see them at night. So in front of us here, this is our forward stateroom on the 42 Fly. This is a full queen size bed. It's at proper bed height, and we've got plenty of room to get around either side of the bed. It's very hard to find this type of a layout on a boat this size. Most of the time, the bed's in a corner. It's really hard to access either side, or the bed's really tall and not quite a queen shape, queen size bed. Uh, but Regal did a fantastic job with the forward cabin up here. In the forward stateroom, there are two large storage drawers underneath the bed. So still in the forward stateroom is a large hanging locker with two drawers, a Samsung smart TV, and a solid wood door for privacy. It's a pocket door so it stores out of the way when not in use and it locks out of the way. There's also storage forward on either side of the bed. The 42 Fly is offered in two different layouts, a dual head boat or a single head boat. Uh, this particular boat is configured with a single head, and on the port side, we're gonna have a refreshment center instead of a secondary head. Uh, when you've got the single head boat, you get dual entryways to the head. So when this, if this door was shut, you would have access either way. So let's enter the head. So in the head, we've got a nice large mirror with storage behind it, a large bowl sink, and an electric flushing toilet. 
solid surface countertops, and plenty of storage down below the sink. The shower is gorgeous. We've got a teak shelf, nice teak seat, and a teak step with a separate shower head and a door to keep the water out. On the port side of the boat, we've got a nice large refreshment center, plenty of storage up top, another deep stainless steel sink, and an enormous amount of storage down below, including the refrigerator. This is another one of those double drawers we saw up top. Regal does a great job with all the extra storage. You can never have too much storage on a boat. So let's go ahead and enter into the mid cabin. Got another little storage locker here. We've got a large settee over here on the port side of the boat. Your TV can be viewed from the settee or it can fold out and viewed from the bed. One thing I love about the mid cabin of this boat is the fact that we've got a king size mattress. This is a true king size mattress and the mid cabin stretches the full beam of the boat so you get a large window on both sides. That's unheard of in a mid cabin and it gives you an enormous amount of light and it really makes the mid cabin feel large. As you come down the stairs, there's these two doors that open up. This is our DC and AC distribution panel. Um, over here, we can actually turn on any of our AC appliances um, or our DC appliances over here. We can start and stop the generator from here as well. We've actually already got the Sea Keeper fired up today and it's ready to roll. And we'll get to play with that a little bit during the sea trial. One thing beautiful about this boat is it's a timeless design. It's going to be, it's beautiful today. It's going to be beautiful 20 years from now. Not many builders do a really good job with the styling and the function of the boat. Regal, the form and the function are equally as important. We've got large hull side windows that give us ample lighting down below for the mid cabin, the refreshment center, and the forward stateroom. We're walking up the port side of the boat. If you notice, you've got a handrail that starts at the very aft of the hardtop and runs all the way forward up the walkway. This is a very wide walkway. It's lit with blue LEDs and a very high bow rail. I'm six feet tall, so this is still giving me a nice high bow rail to grab onto. So we're going to keep walking forward. The bow of the boat, we get a nice large sun pad. We get a storage locker here for lines and fenders your windless anchor and foot controls. It's nice that this is below deck, so there are no trip hazards. And of course, we've got access to our anchor line. This has got a forward deck wash down for rinsing that dirty anchor off so you don't have a lot of mud or sand on the front of the boat. This is really nice if you've got people or kids up front. There's nothing to trip over. It's a nice flat area to work with, especially if the seas get a little bit rough. So this is the forward sun pad on the 42 fly. It's really cool part about the sun pads. We've got flip up backrest here in multiple different positions, depending on what angle of recline you want. And they're completely independent, so you can have two different settings for, for either side. You've also got a nice fold up headrest. This has got two different positions as well. And again, this is completely customizable for what you're looking to do. When you have two people up here, they're in different settings. You've got cup holders on either side, as well as a stereo remote control. This boat is actually configured with the forward cabana enclosure for the sun pad. This is a really nice feature. You just give this a little pull right here on both sides. And that'll keep that nice and taut. So off the transom of the 42 fly, it gives you access to your electric opening engine hatch. Um, inside the engine hatch, you'll have access to both engines, generator, batteries, um, sea strainers for the air condition and generator and sea keeper, as well as your DC distribution center. We do have a day hatch in the aft cockpit area that allows us to drop down in between the engines and, and get to the engines in order to check oil or, or handle our DC distribution center. This particular boat's powered by twin IPS 500s. Uh, these are 5.5 liter diesel engines, um, putting out 380 horsepower each. It's a combined horsepower of 760. Uh, your total torque at even a low RPM at 1700 RPM is exceeding 1800 foot pounds of torque. Uh, that's able to do that with a compressor on the engine, which actually spools up a lot of boost before your turbos kick in. Uh, it's, it's a very incredible boat to drive. It, it feels like it's a much smaller boat when you're running it. Well, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Billy Talley with Talley's Pier 77 Marine out of Lake Norman, North Carolina. 
please visit our website at tallyspier77.com or give us a call at 704-892-8555. Um, on our website, you can check out all of our new and pre-owned inventory, including this Regal 42 Fly.